on our scene and you can pretty much see that the textures are a little bit different but I just had to change them so they won't look a they won't look that broken as they were so let's just fly through the ceiling and take a look around yes so and we can see this strange red thing in the distance just fly a little bit closer and there it is it's freak 3 the thing that we're gonna talk about here i guess all right taking a closer look we can see that he has his fully modeled body the matter rig that's used for making animations the red light just so we can kind of see him in the darkness and the chase audios we're gonna also take a look at these ones so the first one is the gallop radio interference is the sound that plays when the clock sensor hits zero and it's kind of pitched up the second scream is his own scream which is also pitched up the third scream is also his own and is just pitched down all right now let's take a look at his animations just open this up the first one is the running animation which is also used in the phantom mode well i can say that his well his entire body is used in the in the phantom mode but it's just kind of turned off and replaced with a lot of particle systems so yeah this is the running animation just <laughs> the idle animation is not really the idle animation but the animation of him waking up it's also used in the phantom mode and the last one is the gallop run which is completely unused well at least i haven't seen it in a phantom mode or just in a game talking about his appearance in the game you cannot really find him while playing in the living halls because you, you just can't get outside of the map and mm, he doesn't teleport to the map in any way and I know that because I kind of cracked the code of the game to see his script and by that I can say that he's not really an enemy but he's uh, just a level manager well it's like mm, he can he controls the walls in the game uh, like just well he disables them while the player collects all the orbs and spawns another walls that's mm, well they're just needed to end the level yeah like this and yeah but I can't say he has the properties of a normal enemy and I actually made a quick script because the other one was well broken to to test his properties so let's just hop into this thing yeah Talking about his speed, I don't really think that you can outrun him in a normal game. Because, like, I had to adjust the speed of the player just so I can outrun him for the sake of the showcase. But, 
Yeah, I still don't think that you can Eltron in the yeah, in the normal game. I guess that's it for now. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoyed this explanation. So, thanks for watching and 